Running involves a lot of physics, such as force, acceleration, impulse, and angles of proper stance while running. To begin with, when you swing your foot forward and down, the force you exert on the ground plays a major role in your stance and speed while running. Much force is exerted when your foot hits the ground. We calculated the force this runner exerts on the ground to over 2,000 newtons. We easily calculated this using the equation mass times velocity is equal to force times time. We use the average weight of a woman for the mass and calculated velocity, which has the average distance divided by time. Afterwards, we figured out how long the foot was touching the ground using that as our time. Due to Newton's third law that states every action has an equal and opposite reaction, the ground is pushing back on the runner equal to the force the runner exerts on the ground. A strong runner should have a good center of balance while running. A runner's technique depends on the angles of their head, arms, legs, and overall tilt. As you can see, the runner's arms should stay constant at a 90 degree angle and alternate with their steps. By alternating their arm swing with their stride, the runner's balance is more centered. When a person's center of gravity is more controlled, they are able to run more smoothly and inevitably faster. A runner's head should be looking approximately 5 meters in front of them. This helps maintain posture by making sure the runner is standing upright and not hunched over. To be an efficient runner, you need proper form and technique, which includes understanding elastic collision and using it to your advantage. Elastic collision is when two objects collide and 100% of the energy is transferred. As you can see in the clip, the runner lands on her heel and her body is leaning back. This demonstrates poor posture and form. This could cause injuries because the force is being applied to the wrong part of the foot. Um, I, do, I try not to focus it as much when I'm actually running, but it tends to be the balls of my feet, which is, I guess it's not as good because it gives pressure and could lead to plantar fasciitis, which is a foot disease most runners get. But I'd say, yeah, I land on the balls of my feet the most. I try my best not to land square on my foot because that's when you develop knee problems because you have a certain unbalance between your knee and your foot. So that's what I try to focus on the most just so I don't get hurt. Running can be found in most sports such as baseball, basketball, and football. Hopefully this video has helped to become a more efficient runner. Thank you for watching.